What's going on guys? Back at it with another Fallout 4 video. So in the last video we ended up coming to this top secret base uh, called, uh, fuck dude, I don't even remember what it's called to be honest, but it's under Slocum's Joe. And essentially what we were trying to do is get a specific prototype thing for a Dr. Carrington who works for the railroad. Uh, we actually came down we were here with a man named Deacon, so we pretty much had completed the quest in the last video. We just have to go back to the railroad and turn in the quest before we can progress further in their mission. So that's basically what we're going to do to start it off. And then we're probably going to progress a little further with the the whole uh, railroad quest line. So if that's something you're interested in, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said... Let's get on with this gameplay. Alright, so first things first, we obviously have to go back to the railroad, which is out or inside of the old North Church. So let's go ahead and fast travel there. And while we're at it, we definitely have to deal with these super duper long uh, loading screens. For some reason, this is like the worst ever. But you guys heard me complaining about that. Uh, probably more than uh, you guys probably care to hear. So I'm going to do my best to not bring it up as much as possible. You guys already know how I feel about the loading screens in Fallout 4 uh, and how they take forever, so it is what it is. But yeah, we're definitely going to go inside uh, the railroad little base that they have going on. Hopefully they get grant us entry into this organization so that we can pretty much be like all, you know, specialized in subterfuge and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. But of course I've played this game before, so I already know that is what you can't do. <laughs> Alrighty. And we actually got a pretty cool pistol too, man. I mean, I'm not... I'm not specializing in it. I'm trying to do a com laser commando build. But uh, the thing with that is... I don't have the weapon mods that I need or want... For my laser rifle... As of now, I pretty much just have it to where it's, uh... Wait, am I... I am over-encumbered. Yay, me! What can I drop that I don't need? I mean, I don't really need the Brotherhood Fatigues. And that way is four. I, I do kind of want it though. Here, we'll drop one of these. Drop one. I'll drop one of these. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, three. Uh, I'm gonna drop two of these. Uh, two of these. There is a reason why I want these, by the way. I think we're good. Let's go. At least now we uh, got ourselves a pretty good extra bit of carry weight. I really need a better Under Armour too, man, because I really don't want to be in the freaking vault suit anymore. All right. Let's get a weapon just in case somebody wants to pop off in here. I think we're good. I think we're pretty we pretty much cleared everybody that's in here already, so should be fine in that department. But I mean, you can't you can't be too sure, right? Um this way. And we're here. Let's put away our gun. And the new guy patched me up put me on his shoulder, and they blasted his- uh -huh. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm pretty much hot shit, dude. Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred. <laughs> I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. 
But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. Just the two you of us. To sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Ooh, yeah. Join the railroad. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now I need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Mmm. Fixer. Professor. More options? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Charmer, Whisper, Bullseye? I mean, I guess Bullseye. Call me Bullseye. Well, from what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. All right, cool. Hey there. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. You know what? Sure, why not? Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Uh, dog meat, go to. Go to sanctuary. He's not gonna be very good. He's seriously just full full disclosure. Deacon is my favorite um, companion, man. I really like him. He's funny as shit. Let's check out this base of theirs. No, but yeah, Deacon makes me laugh, man. He's so stupid in the best possible way, man. This is it. it may lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe. Taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Okay. So she said, Am I gonna get an introduction or anything? Looks like I am. What's up, fellas? It's an assault Listen on me here. Everyone. This is Bullseye. He did the switchboard off with Deacon. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. All right, uh, Drummer Boy, talk hey, to me. Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops, grab incoming agents, and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. It's an important job, bro. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalkboard. <laughs> we'll be seeing each other. A lot. But a chalkboard can't shoot back if we get Glad infiltrated. You on. Oh, thank you. Get to take the occasional night off. Excuse me. Hey, you. Hi. Are you the new heavy? Yep. Bullseye, right? Um, yep, that's me. Yep, that's me. I thought so. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Mines and shit too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? Uh, I mean, I... Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. Not really. I kind of went in there, um, shooting shit up. With a whole lot of bullets and a whole lot of blood. Fortunately, the blood wasn't mine. That's how you do it. Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Don't worry. I got it. So what happened to Tommy Whispers? Who's Tommy Whispers? Tommy was a second heavy at HQ. He went KIA after the Institute assholes took out the switchboard. With him gone, I've been running missions nonstop. So I'm damn happy you're here. They call me Glory. The angel of death. The ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. Uh, so you're a synth? So you're a synth? 
That's what the Maid and the Institute stamp on my ass says. <laughs> uh, Synths and the Institute. I don't know what that means, but yes. I have a lot of questions about Synths, about the Institute. Would you be willing to answer a few? If I have to. Yay! I know a whole lot less than you think. Mainly, I did surface detail. Combing over ruins and shit for salvage. The few times I was in the Institute proper, all I was to them was their thinking, feeling, hammer. Um, that sounds demeaning. That sounds demeaning. You could say that. I helped those assholes make more synths. Synth development is what they called it. How do they make them? How do they make synths? Damn if I know. The machines are massive, complicated. Not like anything I've seen out here. No matter what Des and others say, synths ain't human. We're assembled bone by bone, muscle by muscle. I've seen it. I'm gonna hit the range. I need to shoot something. Now. Aww. You can tell she doesn't... Like, she's not 100% okay with the fact that she's a synth. Like, well, not, not like that. Like, she's... Finds it hard to believe, like, she's an actual person, you know? Railroad agents. Is there any more named people? Tinker Tom. Where's Tinker Tom anyways? So that's Glory. There he is. Hey. Excuse me. Any minute now, buddy. The census sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. Um. Sensor sweep? I went through a sensor sweep? Every test Des would let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you. Or us. But the tests lie, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Um... Yeah, kind of sort of eat food. Yeah, I've eaten food. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it. <laughs> the Institute has these tiny microscopic <laughs> robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's a rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. Um, I mean, if that's true, that's freaking terrifying. If true, that's terrifying. If he had a shred of evidence for any of it, Agreed. <laughs> Quite terrifying. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. Des, De Desdemona, says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? Wait, what? Hell no, there, there's no way I'm taking that freaking shot, bro. There's no way in hell I'm letting you do that. Fine. Let them hear and see everything. Okay, okay. I hope you like your whole life being downloaded <laughs> to the Institute's mainframe. Um. I'll, I'll make a lie. Actually, I dose myself with radiation to kill the blood robots. I read you, man. Smart. I'd rather have some hair loss than let the Institute win. <laughs> hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back, and I will set you up. All right. Um, what do you have for sale? Let's see what you got. Make yourself comfortable, and prepare to be astounded. All right. Let's see. Um, I have six hundred caps. Um, I mean, I don't really need any of this. Um, I mean, maybe some fusion cells. Wait, how much are these? Six, six a piece. That's that's a lot for fifty. Nah, I don't think. Mm, nah, nimble triple barrel. That's five hundred thirty-eight. I mean, I want it, but it's too expensive for me right now. And these are eleven caps each. No, thank you. I really can't afford anything right now, dude. Tinker Tom special. Cool. Look, it's an uh, anti-material rifle. I wonder where that's from. 
Ah. Oh, you. Talk to me. Our newest agent. Yep. This demonic told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. But that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely here to help. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth, H-222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Uh... Sounds like an important mission. Sounds like an important mission. Anything involving Stockton is important. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. No, he definitely did, man. Oh god, I hope I pass this. Yeah, uh, he did. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convinced. Yes! Actually, Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Okay. Um, oh god. Let's see if there's anybody else that I can talk to. Um... What's over here? Solving. Oh, this is Pam. N, when I approach his probability bounds. Pam. Processing. Agent. Bullseye. Your arrival was not calculated. Um, not calculated? What do you mean it wasn't calculated? Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. So, you work for the railroad? Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region designated Commonwealth rephrasing I predict the future wait a minute what do you mean you see the future you see the future that is this unit's primary goal caution biological life forms behave erratically unpredictably all output subject to an extremely high margin of error uh, how inaccurate are you? Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group, and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? Hmm... Why? Now, Vault 111. I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. Well, that was interesting. So, Pam, by the way, is the girl that, when we were in the switchboard, we read about her. She's the that one robot that they were talking to one of the terminals that we did, or that we uh, looked up. Can I fast travel from here? All right, let's see. Boston after dark. This is one of my favorite missions in the entire game, just so you know. I don't think I'm gonna be able, well, let's see. Oh, I can. I can fast travel out of the railroad now. Very nice. Luckily, though, we're not really that far from the location that we're supposed to be going to. 
But at the end of this part, I like the quick save before I progress further because, uh, well, I mean, I guess I have to spoil it a little bit, but they give you a little base, but I always, there's only one place that I like to have my little railroad base, if you will. So it kind of, I don't like it being anywhere else. So I'm, I know this way that you can pretty much always guarantee which one you get. It's, but you have to like quick save it before and then clear a base if you haven't already gotten it. I, I guess I'll show you. Um, but it, it might be a little bit before I can actually complete this quest. But I will definitely be doing that because the place that I like getting is this place called Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I just feel like it, it, it fits pretty well for a railroad base, in my opinion. I don't know why, it just does. Hopefully we can get it in this video, though. A lot of factors apply though, of course. Like the... How fast this game will load exterior textures and stuff like that. And the environment, because the load screens are pretty long. So... I think it has a lot to do, though, with the amount of Creation Club stuff that I have. So, maybe some point soon I might actually just go and do some of the Creation Club stuff. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see me do some of the Creation Club stuff in, in a somewhat upcoming video. I might do some of the like uh, the easy ones, like maybe go dog hunting or something, you know? Do I even have a a level up? I don't think I do. I should probably check to see if I have a level up though. Oh, come on, man. Hurry up. <laughs> and I think after this video, I think the next video, we're probably going to do some simple, like, creation club stuff that we could just get rid of from our quest list because we definitely have a pretty big and extensive quest list that we need to get through, you know? Even though I kind of wanted partially to do that last. Like, kind of finish the main storyline before I actually went and did all of that, but... Hey, it is what it is. This is it? Are you going to allow me to get outside now? I feel like it literally takes like a few minutes for this freaking loading screen to get through. It always gets me nervous though because since it takes so long, like I always get the, like it always feels like the game froze, you know what I mean? But I know it didn't freeze because the bottom right or whatever, the little vault sign or logo is definitely, it definitely works. So, yeah, there's that. But we got it working, so let's go ahead and go. Um, it, sh it really shouldn't be too far from here. Alright, let me, let me see the map. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too far from here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I knew it. Run! There's Pharrell ghouls here. Where's Deacon anyways? Dude is gone. Oh, are these the chem dealers? I think these are chem dealers. Um, hi? No funny business. Um, why are you here? 
What are you guys doing out here? Working. Gotta earn those calves, right? Jet don't pay for itself. Alright, sure, why not? Later. Alright. Looks like our marker is over here on this side. I think they said we have to go pick up a dead drop first. Oh shit, it's a freaking miler. My alerts are pretty deadly, man. So let's go ahead and sneak. It's inside that trash can. It looks like. Alright. Come on, baby. Stockton's holotape. Let's listen to this. Inventory. Alright, it's under miscellaneous, I think. Stockton's holotape. Right there. Update. Observed unusual activity has ceased. Window is open for a heavy to make contact, but they should act now. The package is still in my possession. It cannot remain here safely for much longer. Out. Alright. I think that was a quick rundown of our overall objective. Alright. Whoa, dude, that looks cool. Looks like it's here though, so let's go ahead and make our way in there. Whoa, who's this lady? You there. Caravan or Raider? Um Diamond City thinks it's got a lock on trade in the Commonwealth, but watch out for Bunker Hill. It has a lot of potential. What you, whatever you say, Deacon. Alright, what? What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? Um I'm neither. I'm it's just me. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Will do. All right, let's go. I agree, Deacon. All right, let's go put our stuff away. Oh, God. Stockton. I'm happy to join. Welcome, my friend. Might I, I ask, do you, you have the Geiger man. counter? When did you start to get um, countersign. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. Oh, you mean Glory? You're with our mutual friends. Yes? Um, speak covertly. Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages so maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial S speak over trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently <laughs> and we're all about making good trade routes exactly nice my current package has been in my possession far too long sell it i'm supposed <laughs> to deliver the package to some place nearby but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. I can do that. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery. So, if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. You there. We need to have a conversation. Safer, I'm Why? You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Um, what's the job? What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous and that you'll be paid fairly. Sure, why not sign me up? I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Um, sure, why not? We'll definitely take care of that later, though. I'll buy anything. Eh, some other time. All right, where's the where's this place that we're going to? Uh, Bunker Hill. 
Alright. It's actually not that far. So that's a good thing. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Alright, let's go. Let's go around because it appears that it's in that direction. Deacon, where are you at? Let's not sprint so we can give good old Deacon boy over here, wherever the hell he is. Oh, what the hell? Some time to catch up, I was gonna say, but... Oh, this guy's a legendary. I might have... Put myself in a tough situation here. I mean... I mean, it's not gonna be that hard if... Alright. Bloody lead pipe. Take those... Alright, I mean that wasn't very difficult. Let's go ahead and level up. Let's go with... Hmm. Um... Let's go with Critical Banker. Where is it at? Yeah, let's go with Critical Banker. Screw it. Give me some headshots, baby. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Good job, Deacon. Wait. Screw. Who's shooting? Oh, hello. Alright. Done with you. And I got some more ammo. Don't mind if I do. Did I discover this place? I did. I'm not going in there yet, though, because I don't really need to. I will most likely end up having to go back anyways. Looks like somebody killed three raiders. Pikmin's calling card. Um, I guess I'll take it. I only need one, so I'm not taking the rest of them. So let's clear out the quote-unquote undesirables. Looks like they're raiders. It is. Oh god. We got a Pharrell ghoul. Run! Oh god. I'm about to die. Uh, where's my stim packs? Please have stim packs. Fuck. <laughs> well, luckily we leveled up right in front of the the that one building right next to here, so we're pretty good, all things considering. I don't know why I decided to run in the way I did. That was pretty random, actually. It's not even the way I play. I really have no idea why I did that. That was weird. Oh. Alright, let's get some headshots, baby. Very nice. Come on, headshots, baby. No! Woo-wee! Looks like my hits are better than yours. Alright, let's go ahead and go. I'm just gonna skip these dead bodies. I'm not even worried about them. Right now, I just kind of want to go and kill these raiders. Do I have any grenades? I have a bottle cap mine. Um... Yeah, I mean, I have a bottle cap mine. Let's go ahead and put this on. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God. I was not expecting him to come out. As soon as I let it go, he came out and we died. Oh, that hurt me. I'm still going to do the same thing, though. 
crap, dude. That was so stupid. That was so unfortunate, man. The second I let go of my bottle cap mine, like I actually dropped it, he came out. So there was like no way I could go back at that point. So that's pretty unfortunate. Oh well. Dude, I just destroyed him. No, give me. Damn it. Die. Ah. Oh, God. Dude, look at my health. Oh, my God, dude. Let's go ahead and take another one of these. Actually, let's take a third. Crap, dude. I'm like, I used up most of my damn stim packs. I really messed that one up. Maybe I should just save it here. But I will put on that bottle cap mine again. I feel like I can do this. Goodbye. Come on, baby. Oh, definitely working out fine. It actually worked out perfectly. Thank you. I'll take those. I'll take that. And I'll take that. So now we gotta wait till the till the night time, right? Let's go. Uh, dude, we have to wait for a long time. Here, we'll do 24 hours, and then at around midnight, we'll start this mission. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too far off from here. Five, six. Um, actually, you know what? All right, yeah, right here. We're good. Let's go. Any minute now. There we go. Hello. Hey, everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Um. Oh, hey. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. All right, cool. Let's talk to him real quick. Hey, H2. From what I've been told, it's probably safer if I don't say anything. You know what? I don't want to put you in any more danger. You know what? You're right. And I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the thought. It's just that you guys are all, well, no one's ever stuck their neck out for me. I wanted to thank you. This world is overwhelming. But people like you make me feel better about coming here. Um, yeah, I mean... We do all of this to give you a better life. You really... You really have no idea how much I appreciate all of this. Awesome. Oh shit, you scared the hell out of me. Easy there. Don't shoot. Bullseye, right? And my man Deacon, still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time? <laughs> I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Uh, railroad sign. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, yes. <clears throat> let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you, you okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen, there's more than raiders behind me. 
afraid we need a little more help. Don't worry, I got it. More raiders. Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. You, you have no to idea. You need to get safe house and <clears throat> home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. All right, well, I mean, let's... let's the, all right, nice of nice you. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah. I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. I kind of wonder what sins he was talking about specifically. But I like this part, dude. It, it reminds me of like some 007, you know, high stakes escape mission. I don't know. It's so freaking cool. Come on, baby. Nope, no one's here, Super Mutant. Don't worry about me. Or us. Um. Where is everybody? Oh, some. They're all dead. What? Looks like they got attacked by Super Mutants. I mean, I'm not complaining, I guess. What are you doing, dude? Hurry up. Before that super mutant comes. There we go. Oh god. Run! Normally it's actually packed because there's like a bunch of raiders and shit. Um, but looks like they're not coming, so. Or they're not, they didn't spawn or. They spawned, but they got taken out by a super mutant, so. Makes it kind of easy for me. And somewhat disappointed, uh, disappointing for you, the viewers, because you guys didn't see any of the action. Oh well. It is what it is. Come on, baby. Well, we're we probably put our freaking weapon away. Oh, dude, look at that glowing one over there. That's funny. discover this real quick no all right hey high rise and we're here all in the night's work for you agent types yep uh yeah that well dude that was definitely easy just part of the service i think i'm gonna like you even more than glory if you ever need grub bullets or just a power nap take the elevator up to tycon my house is yours and deacon try not to give the rookie too much shit deacon may be a terrible liar but it always pays to have him on your side. Later. Toodles. Did we discover it? Did we? Uh, map. Ticonderoga. Yes, we did. Oh, there we go. Finally told us. Uh, I like to do a quick save here. And then... Uh, travel to the railroad. And see what, what mission they give me, essentially. What's like place to like what settlement to create my whole railroad base at? And if it's not Sunshine Tidings Co op, I just basically reload. So hopefully it's not, uh, hopefully it is Sunshine Tidings and we don't have to do it all over again. Dr. Carrington and Glory, Tinker you Tom's freaky debate. guys. Bloody Whoa. Traipsing around at all hours. Yep. I take it the H222 situation has been resolved? Yep. Of course. But there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all the two safe houses. I want you to check on Gustav. Um, more are safe houses in trouble? The safe houses are in trouble too? I thought only the switchboard was attacked. Ah, the Institute didn't content itself with just destroying our headquarters. No. They launched simultaneous strikes on all we hold dear. Herkimer and Allen safe houses are both confirmed kills. Many fear Augusta will be added to that list. Aw, oh, man. Our uh, railroad badly hurt? How bad did the Institute hurt us, Doc? Frankly, we're lucky there's a railroad left at all. Gas! I don't remember a time our numbers have been so few. But the mission carries on. Yeah, no worries, man. I'll do it. I'll get it done. Details away to the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good. You're walking into something nasty. I'm not worried about it. So... <clears throat> Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. 
Eat that carry. So that's why terraform? Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the big war. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. And terraforming? But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. Sure, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's really great, Tom. I told Dez I could count on you. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? Uh, cameras? We need cameras watching the trail? Look, I engineered the trail markers in code phrase myself. So anybody comes looking for us, whammo, spotted a mile away. Sure, the cameras could add a little insurance, but discovering the truth about the Institute's real plan is way more important. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. All right. So now Hi. I need to sell you something. Yep. Let's take a look. Made a new batch of whatnots for you. I just need to sell you some shit, dude, because I'm pretty freaking heavy right now, all right? Well, I don't need this, so I'm going to sell them that. Um, I mean, I guess I could sell this. I don't really need that either. Keeping the junk jet. I'm selling him this. Where's that? All right. Hardened combat sniper rifle. Um, I mean, I guess that's it. We should be able to run now. All right, good. So this is the part where I, I get that mission. If I don't get sunshine tidings, Damn. reload. Agent Bullseye has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution: A new distribution center needs to be established. Uh, distribution center? A distribution center? What's that? The railroad organization calls distribution centers safe houses. A place where synths are stored and then rerouted safely through the region known as the Commonwealth. Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Cool. All right, let's see. What do I get? Nope. So, time to reload. Right there. So now, since I got sun, uh, since I didn't get sunshine tidings, and I got the uh, the drive-in. Now I'm gonna go actually pacify or unlock uh, the the um, the drive-in. And then from there, go back and hopefully continue with this. And hopefully I actually get the Sunshine Tidings co-op in the next run. So, I mean, I guess we'll cross our fingers, I, I suppose. It just sucks, though, because now we got to load outside of the freaking... Uh, the railroad HQ, so we have basically have to wait for all of this. Uh, you know what? Actually, we're probably going to leave it here right now. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go, um, we're definitely going to go and pacify or basically unlock as a settlement the, the, uh, the drive-in, and then we're going to try to turn in this mission once again. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.